Mounting the C3 controller in a hidden position, for example, sealing in weak current well. Diagram on 4-door 1-way and 2-door double-way wiring of the C3-400. After the C3-400 is installed, you need to connect the access control system, add personnel, and set the parameters and authorities. First ensure that the installed C3-400 is connected to the network. By taking the demonstration box of the C3 controller system as an example, the following section describes software settings and usage of the C3-400. Describe the software parameter settings first. Start the access control system and log into the access control system. Follow the procedure to set the C3 controller. Step 1. Device Management. Open the device interface and perform region settings. Click Add on the interface, and enter basic information about the region. For example, set the region number to 2, set the region name to Shenzhen, and click OK. Open the device interface, and add the C3-400. Add the C3-400 by searching for the access controller in the Ethernet. During the search, you can find the C3-400 access controller connected to the network through the MAC address or serial number. Click Add Device to add the access controller. The added controller can be viewed in the device list and through device monitoring. The controller can also be added through the Add function. Step 2. Personnel Management Open the Personnel Management interface and perform department settings. Click Add on the left, and enter the basic information of the department. For example, add two departments including Finance Department and R&D Department. Click OK to add the two departments. Click Refresh on the right and the added departments are displayed in the department tree. Add personnel, add personnel on the personnel management interface. Take two persons to be added as an example. Register the ID information for one person and register the IC information for the other person. The registered card number can be released by the card dispenser or be inputted directly. Here, input the card number directly. Enter other information as needed. system allows a default time zone named accessible 24 hours. Click Add and enter the basic time zone information. For example, set two time zones. One time zone is named work days. From Monday to Friday. The start time and end time are 8 and 18 respectively. In other times, use the default value, disabled state. Then, during the period of 8 to 18 from Monday to Friday, the door can be opened or closed according to the access control settings. In other times, access control is disabled. The other time zone is now entertainment time zone. On Saturday and Sunday, the start time and end time of access control are 9 and 22 respectively. In other times, the default value is used. Click OK to add the settings. Holiday, Festival Settings Add Holidays, Festivals for Access Control Click Add on the interface, and enter the basic information on Holidays, Festivals For example, set the May 1st Labor Festival Set the Holiday, 
festival type to holiday type 1, set the start date and end date to April 30, 2011 and May 2, 2011 respectively, and select no for cycle by year. Click OK. Step 5, Door Settings. Set door 1, and select locked doors for the valid time zone. The lock drive duration is 5 seconds, the door sensor top is normal close, the door status delay is 10 seconds, close and reverse lock is selected, and verify mode is on record. In the lock days time zone, you can open the door by verifying your card, and the door is opened 5 seconds after your card is verified. When the door sensor top is normal close, the door is always closed upon power on and is always opened upon power off. The door sensor check 10 seconds after the door is opened, and the lock is automatically closed after the door is closed. Click OK to complete the settings. Set door 2, and select entertainment time zone for the valid time zone. The lock drive duration is 5 seconds, the door sensor type is normal close, the door status delay is 10 seconds, close and reverse lock is selected. And verify mode is on record. In the entertainment time zone, you can open the door by verifying your card. The door is opened 5 seconds after your card is verified. The door sensor is checked 10 seconds after the door is opened. And the lock is automatically closed after the door is closed. Click OK to complete the settings. Door 3 and door 4 use the default accessible 24 hours. Linkage settings. Set 4 linkages. The first linkage is the K1 and the N4 aid detector jointly trigger alarm. When end K1, hyphen N4 aid detector alarm. The trigger condition is set to auxiliary input disconnect. The input point address is auxiliary input 1. The output point address is auxiliary output 4. The action type is open, and the action delay is 20 seconds. The second linkage is that K2 triggers the alarm device to give an alarm. When end K2, hyphen alarm. The trigger condition is set to auxiliary input disconnect. The input address is auxiliary input 2. The output address is auxiliary output 4. The action type is open, and the action delay is 20 seconds. The third linkage is that K3 triggers the alarm device to give an alarm. The triggering condition is set to auxiliary input disconnect. The input address is auxiliary input 3, the output address is auxiliary output 4. The action type is open, and the action delay is 20 seconds. The fourth linkage is that K4 cancels the alarm given by the alarm device. The trigger condition is set to auxiliary input disconnect. The input address is auxiliary input 4, the output address is auxiliary output 4, and the action type is closed. Access levels. Click add and enter the related information of a rate group. For example, set two access levels, workshop and entertainment room, which correspond to door 1 and door 2 respectively. The time zones also correspond to work days and entertainment time zone respectively. Set the personal access levels, all access levels are displayed on the left of the interface. Assign the workshop right to the persons with ID 1 and ID 2, and assign the entertainment room right to the persons with ID 3 and ID 4. Click Add to Add Personnel to the access level. After parameter settings are complete, you can use the C3-400 as instructed below. The person with ID 1 opens door 1 to enter the room by authenticating his or her ID card in the time zone of work days, and then opens door 1 to leave the room by pressing the leave button. 
person with ID 3 opens door 2 to enter the room by authenticating his her IC card in the time zone of entertainment time zone. If the person does not close the door timely, the door magnet detects that the door is not closed after 10 seconds, and thus triggers the alarm device to give an alarm. Press the infrared detector button and open door 2 to leave the room. Press K1 and induce the infrared detector, thus triggering the alarm device to give an alarm. Press K2 or K3 to trigger the alarm device to give an alarm. Press K4 to cancel the alarm given by the alarm device.